hi friends in this video we'll learn how to deal with outstanding expenses in a final accounts problem here we have three situations before us you are given extract of a trial balance i'll call this as situation 1 situation 2 and situation 3 we'll do each situation separately Extract of a trial balance is given to you 31st March 22. Salary 120,000. Wages 60,000. Outstanding wages 5,000. And outstanding salary 10,000. Now these two items are appearing inside the trial balance. That means that we have already prepared a ledger called as outstanding wages. It was showing a credit balance of 5,000. We already have a ledger in our books outstanding salary which is showing a credit balance of 10,000. Those ledgers would have been opened because we would have already passed the entry wages account at R to outstanding wages, salaries account at R to outstanding salaries. So these entries relating to outstanding wages and outstanding salary have already been passed. Their impacts have already been considered in salary and wages. So how do I deal with these items when I'm preparing my trading and profit and loss account and the balance sheet so what I do is I'll prepare a small trading account trading account a small p and l account and I'll prepare a small balance sheet so salary I'll debit to p and l account to salary one lakh twenty thousand now should i add this ten thousand again here the answer is no the impact of outstanding salary is already included in salary account the entries have been properly recorded we need not do anything else now wages will be shown in the trading account debit side to wages sixty thousand now we are saying outstanding wages 5000, outstanding salary 10000. These are liabilities for the business. Show on the balance sheet liability side. Outstanding wages 5000, outstanding salary 10000 rupees. Now this is how we are going to show them in the final accounts. If you want, I'll explain again. These entries have already been passed wages account debtor to outstanding wages 5000 salary account debtor to outstanding salary 10000 these entries have been passed because these entries have been passed this this particular amount outstanding wages and this particular amount outstanding salary is appearing inside the trial balance this entry has already been posted in the wages account it has already been posted in the salary account that means this expense of 120000 includes this 10000 this expense of 60000 includes this 5000 rupees already okay now let us see the situation second Extract of a trial balance is given to you. A salary one lakh ten thousand. Wages fifty five thousand. You cannot see outstanding salary, outstanding wages in the trial balance. That means those ledgers are not there. Those ledgers have not been opened. Entries have not been passed for those ledgers. Adjustments. Wages rupees five thousand. Salary rupees ten thousand are outstanding and not recorded that means in this situation the wages and salaries which are outstanding have not been recorded now you are required to do the recording part so how do you deal with this situation now in this problem everything was properly recorded here everything has not been recorded so how do you deal with it this is my trading account This is the PNL account. Salary will be debited to PNL account to salary one lakh ten thousand rupees. Wages will be debited to trading account to wages fifty five thousand. 
now we are required to pass adjustment entries outstanding wages 5000 outstanding salary 10000 so what is entry i'm going to pass wages account data two outstanding wages 5000 salary account data two outstanding salary 10000 so what will be the impact now because of this entry wages account has to be debited wages account has already been transferred to the trading account debit side because of this entry wages account will be debited already in the trial balance it is showing a debit balance debit again debit that means the balance has to be increased so what i'll do is i'll go to the trading account directly and i will add their outstanding wages 5000 so total in the trading account i'll show 60000 similarly salary account was showing a debit balance of 110 again we are debiting it that means we have to increase the balance so i'll go to the pnl account i'll write outstanding add another 10000 so totally i'll debit to the pnl account 120000 so this 5000 has been added here in the expense this 10000 has been added here in the expense now when i go to my balance sheet i will write outstanding wages 5000 outstanding salary 10000 rupees these accounts will show credit balance this account will show a credit balance of 5000 this account will show a credit balance of 10000 credit balances these are personal account showing a credit balance they will be shown as a liability in the balance sheet this is how we'll deal with outstanding wages given outside the trial balance now let us come to the third situation extract of a trial balance is given to you salary 120000 wages 55000 outstanding salary 10000 outstanding salary is appearing inside the trial balance that means this entry salary account data to outstanding salary 10000 this entry salary account data to outstanding salary 10000 has already been passed this entry is already passed that means salary account has already been debited that means this 10,000 is already included in this 120,000 we need not add it up once again adjustments outstanding wages not recorded 5,000 so how to deal with this now trading account salary will be debited to the pnl account to salary 120000 wages will be debited to the trading account two wages in the inner column i'll write 55000 outstanding salary 10000 where will i show it i'll show it directly in the balance sheet outstanding salary 10000 should i add it here again the answer is no we need not add it again because this already appearing in trial balance if outstanding salary is appearing in the trial balance, that means the entry for outstanding salary is already passed. If the entry is already passed, the expense has already been recognized. So we need not add it again. Adjustments. Outstanding wages not recorded. So now what we have to do? We have to now pass the entry for outstanding wages which has not been recorded. We will pass the entry wages account debtor to outstanding wages 5000. This entry I have to pass now. What will be the impact? Wages account is already showing a debit balance in the trial balance. It has been debited in the trading account and we want to debit that account again. We want to debit that account again. So wherever it is appearing, we have to increase that balance. So I'll write here, add outstanding 5,000. In the outer column, I'll show 60,000. So this is the impact. So wherever this was shown, the expense have increased by 5000. Now what about this personal account showing a credit balance of 5000? Because of this entry in the background, one account will open outstanding wages. It will be credited by wages 5000. It is showing a credit balance now, credit balance of 5000. I'll show it in the 
balance sheet liability side outstanding wages 5000 rupees so this is how i am going to deal with this particular situation so if you observe the difference in these three situations was here in first situation outstanding wages and outstanding salaries were properly recorded here complete error that means both of them were not recorded complete omission and here part that means salary outstanding was recorded but outstanding wages was not recorded so this is how we deal with the outstanding salaries and outstanding expenses in the final accounts